How I be, YouTube? It's been over one month since X Defiant has released, and I wanted to make a video to help players understand how to play the game. Each game mode is unique, even down to the very map that you choose. But you still have players that still can't quite grasp the idea that objective-based game modes are much more than just pushing your KD ratio. In this video, I'll be going over every game mode in X Defiant so you will be confident in how to help and support your team in each individual game mode. X Defiant is, of course, an arena shooter. Its priority focus is to kill the enemy players on the opposing team, but when objectives come into play, the dynamics on how to kill the enemy team changes. Some players like the understanding of how to maneuver and rotate around objectives, and I will say that sometimes I will catch myself doing the same bad habit sometimes as well. With this in mind, the devs recently released Team Deathmatch for the KD pushers to have a place to thrive and have fun. We all should have the basic knowledge of how TDM works. So in this video, I will not be going over this very basic game mode. We all know what TDM offers and that's simply kill and gain points doing so. Focusing on just your KD is good and all, but there needs to be more in order to really help your team in all of the other game modes that are very objective based in order for your team to gain victory in X Defiant. I will be going through each game mode to provide the information you need that will help improve your team's win rate. Of course, as with most FPS games, strategies can always change and sometimes you have to roll with the punches, but having the basic knowledge can at least set you on the right track to being a team player. Let's start with Escort. Escort is a progressive game mode, but if you don't know what a progressive game mode is, it's pretty much put simply like this. It is a game mode that progresses from a linear path from point A to point B. In this case, Escort is a mode where you have to protect and escort a cargo bot from one end of the map to the other as quickly as possible. Both teams get a chance to be attackers and defenders. The goal of the attackers is to either escort the cargo bot all the way to the finishing point as quickly as possible to win the round, or at least push the cargo bot as far as possible as the round will measure your distance traveled as a percentage. I wanna make it very clear on the term quickly because both players on each team could achieve getting the cargo bot to the end goal. So the tiebreaker is gonna come down to how quick did your team do it and were you faster than the other team? And that will also win you the match. If you are the defending team, well, it is pretty self-explanatory to stop the attackers from progressing and to either halt them short of the finish line or slow them down as much as possible. LMGs, ARs, marksman rifles, and sniper rifles are great for this mode. Also, be sure to pay attention to what your team is running as far as abilities they choose. X Defiant really pushes the arena shooter fields, but can kind of be played like Overwatch by selecting the right faction you need to help your team out. The next game mode that I'll be going over is Zone Control, which is pretty similar. The same concept applies to stop the enemy team from capturing all the capture points along a linear map up to the final sector. Attackers still have to worry about how fast they win the round, but instead of distance this time, it's based on how many zones are captured. Once the current zones are captured, the next set of zones will appear. Now I'll be getting into the more popular game modes that me and my buds truly enjoy to play. And that's the actual arena modes. That's domination, occupy, and hotshot. Domination is pretty much one of the simplest objective-based game modes X Defiant has to offer. You have three points to capture, A, B, and C. When your team captures a zone, you get one point per zone captured. For example, if you have just zone A captured, you're only getting one point per second. But if you have zone A and B captured, you're getting two points per second. And of course, capturing all three zones gains you three points per second. 
I have come to learn that the respawns in X Defiant are heavily reliant on what point is captured by your team. So if you wish to spawn trap the enemy team, you pretty much just leave them with one zone and have your team cut off all other travel points. Don't push the spawn too hard because the game gets weird and starts spawning players in awkward locations. Now, moving on to Occupy, in my opinion, can be one of the sweatiest game modes that I have played thus far. Occupy is a mode where one zone appears on the map for 60 seconds, then rotates to a new location on the map. It is pretty much like a King of the Hill mode. The goal is for your team to control the zone and get one point per second while controlling this zone. One key issue I find with some players is that they tend to leave the zone thinking it's captured, but you must stay in the zone at all times in order for it to count towards your team's score. Once the zone only has 10 seconds left, it will reveal the next zone location. So you better have some teammates go ahead and rotate over to the new location before the enemy team gets a jump on you. Now for this final game mode, it could get a little tricky on how to really learn how to operate and strategize in Hotshot. Hotshot is very fast paced and it's something that you kind of have to wrap your mind around and really work with your team, even though it has that TDM feel. Let me explain. Hotshot is pretty much X Defiant seemingly most played mode in the game. It's super fun and a lot is happening. So I wish to clear up how this mode works. The goal for your team is to pick up as many blue tokens as possible to score points. It is one point per blue token. You can also deny the enemy team from picking up tokens by picking up your teammates tokens, which are gray. Sounds pretty simple, right? But there's actually a little more to this game mode than just picking up tokens. The individual player currently holding the most tokens, which must be three or more to activate without dying, becomes what is called the hot shot, which gives a speed boost in everything you do. And it's pretty nuts when trying to kill the hot shot. While being the hot shot, the blue tokens will turn golden and are now worth three points per token. But you are the only player who can see the new gold tokens. Once your team has a player that becomes a hotshot, it's the rest of the team's job to help protect and allow your hotshot to pick up the enemy player tokens instead. This is the part that most players miss when playing this game mode. If you have a teammate that is the new hotshot, you should let them pick up the tokens in front of you to gain the extra three points instead of your simple one point. If you are snatching up tokens in front of your hotshot player, then you're just hindering your team from scoring big and could also lose you the game. I know it's hard to go on a kill streak and see all those shiny tokens right there in front of you. Your first instinct is to pick them up before the enemy team respawns or deny all those tokens you just produced. But if your hotshot is nearby and attempting to pick those tokens up, please don't get in the way and hinder your team from gaining big points. It's all part of being a team player. Again, folks, I did not go over TDM in this video because it is very self-explanatory. You kill the enemy players and you gain points for doing so. That basic. Well, folks, that wraps it up for this video for game modes and having more of an understanding on how they work and operate in X Defiant. I hope I was able to help you understand more about these game modes and how to help your team and how to operate depending on what game mode you're playing. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you enjoy keeping up to date with X Defiant, because I'm going to be bringing you that X Defiant news. Well, this is DX Mimsy, and I hope you have a good night and a good morning wherever you are and the best in gaming.